What's up guys? This is another Critique the Community and today we're gonna be critiquing the portrait contest or critique that we just wrapped up. And this was the first time that we used our new contest system on F-Stoppers. It was a huge success. We had over 1,100 different Whoa, submissions. 1,100. We actually had to limit the amount of submissions because it started getting out of hand. And um, we had some glitches at the beginning, but Joe's been on top of it. And I think everything for the most part has been working. It's much easier, as you guys know, to see all of the submissions and rate all of the submissions. And from what I can tell, there were no images that had zero ratings. And most of them averaged around 30 to 40 ratings per image. And that's what you guys asked for. So even if you don't make the critique, you still will get critiqued on the community. Yeah, you'll know basically how other people view your work. Um, now, I will say, I went through like 500. I said that I said that we were going to rate all of the images. It got out of hand. Like at 1100, I'd be here for days rating the images. But it seemed like the community was harsher at rating the images than we were. Really? And we get crap on YouTube every time we release one of these for being assholes. Well, mm. this will be the first time that we rate the images, and then we get to see the average community rating. So we can that see if we are harsh or if the community is harsh. Um, now. Uh, the next critique and contest you can sign up for right now, it's going to be iPhoneography or cell phone photography, anything that you shot with a smartphone. Um, we're going to limit it to two submissions per person and you can submit to that right now. So go to the link in the YouTube video or in the post on F-Stoppers. Now, there will also be two winners for each of these critiques slash contests now. One will be the highest rated image and the other will be a randomly chosen one that we pick out of this critique. And what do these winners win? Uh, one of the tutorials in the F-Stopper store. And so, first of all, we will look at the highest rated image. From today's critique. Yes. From the community. Yes. So this is it here. This image was not highly rated necessarily by us, but it was rated by the community itself. And this was the highest rated shot in the entire contest. So let's go ahead and rate this one. Three, two, one. Four stars, excellent. I think it's a great looking shot. The reason why I can't go five stars on this probably doesn't have anything to do with the photography or retouching. It's just it's just such a plain looking image, especially that gray background. Right. It's not that exciting. But in terms of the model, the hair, the retouching, the styling, the, it's like a beauty shot. Yeah. Everything's done at such a high level that if you had this in your portfolio, you'd hopefully be getting work yeah. as a beauty photographer. All right, so let's see what this was rated. This was rated 4.11. 4 Look at that. So right, right around what we rated it. And this is a shot by John Platano or John Platano. So congrats, you won. We'll be sending you a message on F-Stoppers directly and just let us know what tutorial you want. Now, you need to choose one number from two through 20 that will be the random winner for this critique. The random winner. Let's go with lucky number 13. 13. Okay. All right, so when we get to number 13, that will be the winner. Here's number two. Let's rate it. I think the subject content sways me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, really? I, I was about to give this a two. A two? And you gave it four. I mean, I was in like a three to a four. I think 3.5 is my rating. Hmm. I think this is a great stock image. I, I think the sky and some of the toning is a little... HDR-ish, but I think I think you got great models. You have a good concept. I love the bubbles. Like maybe this could be a little tighter. I, I don't I don't know. Like maybe I could be persuaded to go more three. You think this is a two? It needs so, work. Well, I gave it a three. I kind of pushed it towards the three, but yeah, I'm I'm leaning more towards like a two and a half on this. Um, I don't really get this shot at all. Like I'm all for half naked pretty girls, but. It feels very strange to me. It kind of just feels thrown together. What's going on in this background? What is this like fence thing? Why is there a parking lot back there? Okay, yes. Why are the girls wearing like a bra? Like it would make more sense if they were in some sort Hold of on, bikini or something. Let me look at this closer. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like this photograph makes any sense to me. I don't think these are the girl in the middle could, it could be a bra, but these just seem like trendy, lacy tops. <laughs> really? Is this the type of I, girls you're hanging out with just dressed like this downtown? <laughs> maybe. But I'm saying like that, I don't know. Like this looks like a good stock image to me. It seems like trendy girls and they're dressed in jeans. Here's, and, okay, here's the, here's the deal. This exact same image with bikini tops on, on the beach, four stars all day. 
I don't know. But it it feels like I'm at some funeral home or something with the with this weird fence going on and the parking lot. I don't know. The fence looks really exotic. Like now that I see the trucks and cars in the background, I think that's weak. I think some of the retouching of the sky is weak. Probably I can't give this a 4. But I feel like that rail, like that looks like you're on a fancy plantation house or some great, like the landscaping. I don't feel like this looks cheap. This looks really high end to me. This looks like a professional Instagrammer's website where they've hired a photographer to take pictures of these girls. And it's it's like a good advertise. I've seen really high end photographers shoot stuff like this and they're getting booked by big brands to shoot these lifestyle sort of images. Let's see what the community says. Is it gonna be closer to three or? 2.67. Two and a half, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, James, I I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Next up. This is strange. I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm going four, four again. What? I love it. I love it. I think this is so cool. Like, I don't know what's going on, but it's a memorable image. I don't know about like retouching and picking a model because it's probably just the guy's kid, but like, this is clever. Like, I think this is great. This is clever. All right, so here's here's my issue with this. What's your issue? The floor? No. Uh, it's kind of the. I don't know if I have an issue with the concept. I like I like the paint. I like the interesting color on the background. I feel like that you know it's like a kid's portrait that's different. I'm all about that. Um. I don't know, just like the expression of the kid and then like this kid's pretty old, but he's like naked with a diaper on. It's It would be fine if it was your own kid, but to put this photograph on your website, I mean, I still gave it a three as a solid image. I could see a series of these where it's like kids covered in paint with like different animals representing something. I think this could be I like really, that. really big. If somebody... I like that. I just don't like seeing kids this old wearing diapers. It just, it freaks me out. Well, if you ever have a kid, you're probably going to have to deal with this reality. I know. I, yeah, I agree. And I don't know how what? old this kid is. I mean, he's probably, could he be four or five? I mean, kids could still know. wear. No, no, I'm not saying he shouldn't be wearing a diaper. I'm just saying You'd rather the diaper age, be gone and him just be naked. Yeah, I just want to see this kid naked. No, I, I, I would like to be cropped in and it to be like, a, you know, stomach up type shot. It's just weird. And his expression is weird. Like, it's not. It just doesn't. What expression should he have? Should he be in total wonder and like yeah, amused? Yeah, something. And... Something. He looks a little disgusted by this. I think he looks cu a little curious. I don't know. His expression could be tweaked a little bit, but overall, I think I hope the community has given this closer a four than a two or three. All right, let's see. Boom. Three point three eight. Yeah. So I I I like the image, but for your website. I mean, I, I gave it a three star. It's closer to a three than it is a four, so I was right again. You're wrong. All right, next up. I think somebody's been watching too many Lee Morris portraits. <laughs> the wind? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three? Three? We agree? Um, I feel like this is a solidly shot image, but to me this looks pretty... Uh, Olin Mills? Yeah, it's like cheesy... 1990s the photography. The muslin background that everyone uses. The hair is all messy, which I know you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Something yeah. that drives me crazy about this, and I don't, I just look at it. The top of her dress makes me think of uh, like chest hair. <laughs> and now when I look at this, I'm like, whoa, wait, what? I mean, do you see that? Um, I didn't until now. Now it looks and like it, she's got the man chest. Yeah, it's freaking me out. Yeah, that is a little freaky. All right, let's see what the community says. Solid, almost exactly, 2.8. So, so they were a little harsher than us. Yeah, a little right. harsher than us. Kind of got like an environmental portrait here. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. This feels very uncomfortable to me. Like, I don't know what the story is with this, but this guy feels very uncomfortable. His pose feels very forced and then this set that's built here it's too busy I, this just kind of looks like a mistake or thrown together in two seconds or something like whatever's going on in the right, right side looks way more interesting to me than what he is standing in front of 
Yeah, I think this could really uh, be strengthened just by composition. If you just completely put these boxes on the edge of the left side of the camera, you know, just crop in, and then maybe have him sitting instead of kneeling, and then you got to get something coming out of him. Yeah. Either he's got to be cutting and like looking at his work and like sawing or hammering, or he's got to be laughing or something. But this just looks like he's annoyed that you're there. Yeah, and I think I think this has got the weird like 45, 45 degree cross lighting, which flattens the whole image out. If you look at the shadows cast by his glasses, they're being cast the same side on each part of his face. I just I don't like that type of lighting. And then when you pair that lighting with everything with the shot. What I've been doing a lot of lately is I like to light the the subject maybe with a soft box and give like a really flattering light on them, but then use hard light to accent other things in the scene. And I think they went for that vibe. I mean, I like some of the shadows and the contrastiness of it, especially with it being wood. This, this scene is very industrial to begin with. But like you said, when you start getting the cross lighting on your subject like that, it, it just, it's a little, it's a little too much, I think. Yeah. Community rating 2.51. So a little nicer than us. All right. Next up. Hmm. You ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Three stars. I want to give this one four. I feel like it comes down to the pose and emotion of the talent, which is the weak link, which is strange for me to say because I feel like, you know, this guy's got a pretty interesting look on his face. But, you know, I've seen ads like this for Under Armour or whatever, and they look amazing. And I just feel like his is it yell... Is shallow depth of field? Is it too shallow? I don't quite understand what's going on with the depth of field. Like... Do you think you think all of this you think this is real? All of this mist and or stuff. Or they've they've blurred they've blurred it more and they've made the depth of I mean this depth of field's really shallow. It is really shallow. It's hard to get like right, you know, the side of the eye to go that out of focus that quickly. Yeah, so But I'd, you know, maybe they have one of these newer they make like a one thirty five, one four or something. They make these more telephoto lenses. I've never shot on that. It could be I possible. Mean, I don't know that what, this what, looks that telephoto. What drives me crazy about the expression is there's energy in there, but like there's something about the mouth exactly. that seems like he wasn't going full force. I, I don't know. Like it's it's this intangible thing that his mouth just seems like it's not really yelling. Exactly. If you cover up his mouth and just look at the top of his, his head here, he looks great. And then if you cover up the Eyes, eyes and, and look at the mouth it looks like he's singing or something yeah. it doesn't look like he's actually yelling so it's do very you, close do you like that or not like that there's no other context you can't tell if he's lifting weights if he's getting off the starting line of a race he's know. a football player like do you feel there should be some other context of like what is it that he's doing i don't is he getting stunned with a stun feel, gun i don't think that's fair to critique that because you throw a brand's name on here and suddenly like... Maybe, or, you know, it's like a wider shot that shows more of what's going on could be cool also. But I don't think that means that this shot shouldn't be taken. I like the lighting and the mood. Yeah, yeah, I do too. All right, let's see what the community says. Ooh, 3.71. Mm. So they like this a little better than us. Next up. Now, something about this shot seems lower res than the other shots. I don't know if the photographer uploaded it differently or if David didn't save this the same, but it's not quite as sharp. Are you ready? Man, this one's difficult for me. Yeah. Three, two, one. You Whoa. went four. I went two. <laughs> let me let me talk first. Okay. I feel like I wanted to give this a three because it's exotic. It's an image that I don't see a lot, and because of that, the lighting on the the sand and everything looks cool. But when I really look at it and try to take away the exotic location and the exotic subject matter for me, 
I start to feel like this looks like a natural lit shot that's been dodged and it feels really cheap and there's no lighting. And I feel like the light for the time of day is casting great shadows in the foreground. But when I look at the subject, I see all this haloing and these purple fringes. It just looks like a snapshot that they have tried to salvage. And that's beyond just it being a low res image. To me, this looks like it just it just looks like a snapshot that they've really gone crazy with in Photoshop and it pulls me out of it. I love the composition, I love the subject matter, but when I look at it from a professional photographic standpoint, to me this is like it needs more work to become a three. Now, make your argument for why this All is. All right, so I will say that I have noticed this is a lower res shot than the other ones, and I don't know I don't know why. I'm having trouble seeing all of the issues that you just brought up, but I do see them now. And especially if you look at his knee sticking out here, the way that it's like dark really and, dark well, there. Look at his his right arm against the yeah. There's the sand there's a little stuff. bit of haloing over bit, there. Yeah. So I could totally change my my vote if I could see this in high res and maybe zoom in a little bit. I can't do either right now. Looking at this at kind of its thumbnail size that I'm I'm seeing. I feel like it looks great. The sky looks great. The exposure on him looks great. Like you said, the lighting on the foreground looks great. All together, I just feel like this entire shot looks great. I'm not going to argue with you that there may be some issues with retouching that could be fixed a little bit. And so for that reason, maybe I'd go with a three. But I don't know. Like two stars seems pretty harsh. You want to see what the community says? Let's see it. 2.66. 2.6. So in the twos. Yeah. So... Um, I, I will have to say you were right on that. And if I had to, I'd change my vote to a three, but I still lean towards like getting closer to a four for sure. You would print sure. that and put it on your wall. No, no, I didn't say that. I just think for what it is, it's a, it's a good shot. This is pretty interesting because I've had ideas of doing series that play with like different skin tones like this. I, I wouldn't have gone in this direction, but this is interesting. It's a tough one for me. Very tough. Okay. Three, two, one. What? We are like way out of sync on this because I was leaning towards potentially a two for a this. A two on this? What is wrong with you? All right, so here's my thought process. I don't know if this is done with makeup or with Photoshop. Yeah. You think it's done with Photoshop? I think it's done with Photoshop just because I think they intentionally made the line go through their eye, which was perfect. And I feel like the weakest side of this is the white. I feel like there's something going on with the desaturation that it doesn't look like white skin. Yes. But I think one or two of these images in your portfolio, it like shows what you're capable of doing. If this was done with real makeup, maybe this would be even more of a solid four, potentially a five. Um, maybe for five, it would need some other concept to really make it even you know world class but so uh, now as i zoom in i'm looking at specifically underneath her eyebrow that this has to be done in photoshop and i think it looks really cheap like cheaper significantly cheaper than the post processing done in the last shot Ooh, I don't know so i I I, I I change my vote now to a two for this um, I do wish some of the uh, the skin on the dark side would have been retouched a little bit. I know that's a touchy topic for a lot of people, but if you're going to go in this conceptual art realm, get rid of some of the pores or loose, you know, lighten them up a little bit so they they don't have that. It just it looks like it, it doesn't look like clean skin, mm -hmm. and there's some texturing up there. Like I feel like I feel like it probably could be done a little bit better. Here's um, my question to you, and this will probably change your vote on this. Imagine that this Photoshop was not done to this image. What do you give this image? Well, it's a totally different image then. The reason I rated this high was because of the con Really? So, concept. so I can take any crappy portrait and I can just make half the person's face white and half the person's face black and that's enough for you to give it four stars? I would love to see you, Lee, take a picture like this and do a Photoshop like that that's compelling. Like, that would be... What what if what if there's what if there's like literally an action in Photoshop or like a plugin? I could probably I could probably do it with alien skin, where you just you take the same image, you put two different alien skins on it, and it's probably the uh, infrared 
alien skin. And then I just do, I just make a little mask and go, Bleh, and make a squiggly Sounds line like on the face. Sounds like a post for F-stoppers. I I'm asking you a serious question. If I did that and I was able to make this image in I don't five care. seconds. I don't care how you do it. If you could make it in five seconds, but it's a cool concept, then it's still worthy of being rated high because of really? a cool concept. Really? So bad portraits with squiggly lines on people's faces this, makes it excellent. This isn't a bad portrait with squiggly lines. I mean, I've it's seen... not. it's not a compelling portrait. What if, they, rate this image without the squiggly line on her face. It's a totally different image. Okay, but it's a two, right? I don't know. I think it could be a three. This could be a solid, well How lit. How can that be a three? Look, just it's 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 like a dead, out to lunch expression face. There's not anything going on with lighting. There's nothing interesting going on with the pose. There's nothing interesting going on with the hair. The look, look at how bad the hair was photoshopped. What do you mean? There's there's like a a line where all the flyaways are just cut out. Okay, I can see that now. Like, because of some of these issues, it's not a four, but it's still a cool concept. I mean. All right, so we both give it three. I see Dan Winters have images like this, where it's just a very simple, subdued, no expression portrait. And I'm not saying all of his pictures are fours and fives, but like the guy's made a career out of doing stuff like this without the Photoshop technique. So I can't say this would be a two portrait. It of would... course it is. Of course it is. You guys argue this in the comments. All right, let's see what the community rates this. So it's been rated 3.1. Yeah, so, so it's closer to a four than it is a two. I rated it three. Oh, I thought you said you gave it I a said two. I was thinking about a two. Mm, well, it's still closer to... Or did I change my vote because of the poor photoshopping? I think it... Ooh, I so I, 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 I changed my vote now to a two for this. Uh, he changed his vote maybe. to two. Maybe. Who knows? Next image. All right. Let's just be honest. Now we're in two category, right? No, I don't know. I could put a squiggly line on both their faces and ten stars. Maybe this would be amazing. If you made this look like a, two gigolos, then maybe it would be an album cover for Insane Clown Posse. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's juggalos. Juggalos, whatever. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> two stars. This is like, to me, this feels like one of these guys is the photographer and he just took like a fun test shot with his friend or brother or something. Yeah. It doesn't feel like this should be in your portfolio. It's a fine image, but don't put this in your portfolio. I mean, the shirt's all wrinkly and like, I don't know. There, there's, there's something here where if they were like comedians or something and like the guy's like grabbing his breast and it's like funny and it's, and, but you, you'd have to light this and process it in a completely different way. But like, yeah. I could see this being something on like, an HBO thumbnail for like a two comedian yeah. show, yeah, 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 but I like agree. other than that, they didn't do that route. This is a two, and the community rates at two point one. We're right on the money with that one. Hmm, interesting. Sometimes I will be honest with the community here. My initial rating is different than when I really start to look closely. And for images like the one where I didn't see the hair was perfectly cut out, I lean more towards lowering my rating because you brought up things that I didn't see initially. But I still like the impact that you get when you first see an well, image. Well, here's the other issue with critiquing images is when you critique them within their specific genre or the job that you are hired for, your rating might be totally different. So, for instance, if you were hired to go take a portrait of this old dude, yeah, this you, is you knocked it out. This is fantastic. But if this was a personal shoot that you want to put on your website to represent the type of environmental portraits that you do, well, even for that, it would be okay. But like, if if for instance you were like, I want to be a a headshot photographer, you know, and shoot like be hired by individual people to take portraits of them for their website or whatever i probably wouldn't use this image for that just well, it's not a headshot yeah i don't know if that's the best example but do you see what i'm saying like i i do this a lot with wedding photography as well if i knew that the image was taken at a real wedding and they only had a few minutes to capture it and that you know they had to deliver two thousand other images then I, I might give a four or a five star rating, whereas if I knew that this was a commercial shoot for... Where you had everything at your disposal, all the yeah. time, all the lighting, all the creative concepts, and that's what you came up with, 
It might lower it a little. I, like, for instance, I might argue, you know, that model's not very good. But then you could say, well, it's not a model. That's a real bride. Right. And you go, oh, well, now it's impressive. So same with this guy. So this like, is a real CEO and not a stand-in. Exactly, exactly. So all, right. I, all that's being said, I don't know what to do. Three, I really want to give this a four. Yeah, I'm same way. And I feel like... I feel like it, it is a four-star image for environmental portraits. This is an unbelievable environmental portrait. Yeah, it's 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 so rare to see somebody like looking off camera like this, but it's working. Yeah. Um, there's a few kind of strange things like the reflection in the glass where I can see the you know yeah. opposite wall and stuff, but little details like that really aren't that big of a deal. Here's a question though: what what do you think about the composition of this. I, I love the composition, but I also see some interesting stuff tighter, zoomed in, um, maybe even some vertical stuff. I almost feel like the original is a little too wide. Like you can see the fluorescent lights up in the top and there's not the very top part of the frame, like the top 10% doesn't really add a whole lot to it. Um, I like being able to see this black diagonal within the next little piece of sky. You know, it makes it Not seem like left. it makes him, it makes it seem like he's in an interesting building. I just feel like you could zoom in a little bit more, get rid of the ceiling altogether, maybe even some of the right office space. Like you don't really need that. Yeah. But I feel like he's lit perfectly. I love that he's looking off frame. I think that's interesting. His view is unbelievable. The sunset and everything's great. It just makes it feel like this guy is in a position of power, but he's also approachable, and he's not, like, stuffy behind a seat, you know? Like, he looks like he's the type of guy that got out of his seat to meet with you, and he's gonna get stuff done, you know? I feel like this is a cool portrait. This is a great portrait. So maybe three stars for portraits, and easily four stars for environmental portraits, sure. for editorial. And the community rated it a 2.97. What is wrong with our community? I mean, we gave it three, so it's like exactly what we rated it. Next up. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Whoa, really? Yeah, I don't like these type of images. What? I think Mike was talking about this. Like, I don't like fashion women in industrial scenes. It's just, I feel like the processing looks grungy. The lights, the way that they bend just makes it feel like this place is like falling apart. And then she's in a <laughs> fancy dress. Like, I just, it feels like stuff I used to shoot the first couple years that I had a camera. I'd get a cute girl and I would take her to some place that was like industrial. Hmm. And at the end of the day, like I don't see images like this in magazines. I don't see this used. I don't think that's fair. I, I just, I, to me, this looks this looks kind of cheap. It's like the photographer knows what they're doing. I just feel like, I mean, what what if you crop this vertically? Wouldn't that be so interesting? If you got rid of these fluorescent lights, I think it would help a lot. I just don't like the workshop lights and the industrial scene. I just I feel like it's great. I feel like her pose is good. Her expression is great. The lighting on her is great. The background is super interesting. I agree that maybe the fluorescent light, that bend in the fluorescent for fluorescent light isn't the best, but come on, I mean, it's not Okay, I'm gonna get real specific here, because right, it's on my mind. It. I just did a photo shoot yesterday with some, for a brand. And basically, Monty and Peter talk about this a lot, that like, the camera angle's low, which sometimes makes people look epic, but it like, doesn't make her jawline look nice. There's so much, her jawline is so open there, and like, Peter would say it's got the little wrinkles. Like, I feel yeah, like I her, think her jaw looks great, but her neck. Yeah, well, that, that's what I'm talking about, the okay. neck and the jawline. And then I don't know what's going on below her hand, but it almost looks like she's pregnant. Like, that's not a flattering thing. I don't know how you necessarily fix that. It has to do with body language. It has to do with positioning. But I just, I don't know that I'd look at this and say, like, that belongs on your portfolio. Like, I just don't think it does. Mm. I think it's a two. I gotta, Even crop the way that you just did it. I got to disagree with you on that for sure. I feel like Come it's on, definitely community. a solid image. Come on, community. Let's see what the community says. 2.63. Hold on. I gave it three. You gave it two. That puts it right there. No. 2.5. 2.6 is beyond 2.5, so I won. Next up. Ready? How old do you think this person is? Um, part of me thinks that she's 19, and another part of me thinks she's 11. Yeah, I kind of go with the 11. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two stars. Um, you know, I think we've all seen images like this, 
and probably we've seen shots recently from the snap glasses or whatever the snapchat glasses that the they guy use released images like this to advertise them yeah but um there's just a level of finesse here that is missing yeah. from this photo one is the model she looks too young it's kind of weird um and then a big one is her expression another big one's the lighting it's a little sloppy what do you think of the zebra out for the cheetah is that like add something or is that distract from it uh i didn't notice it honestly until you said something but it just, this image just doesn't really feel like uh, a ton of precision was put in. It just kind of feels like, oh, I'm trying to recreate the Snapchat ad. Another Another one is like the glasses. It just feels like they've burned in the top part. And then they have this weird soft box that's still in the frame. And, you know, working with, uh, like Mike Kelly does a great thing with the gradient and then adding the noise, like his Photoshop technique of like making the glasses look more realistic. Yeah. Because many times you have to shoot this where you're gonna get these reflections in the glasses, but then it's how do you retouch the glasses to make them look natural. So I feel like a lot could be done there. I don't know if it bothers me that the model's 11. That kind of could be interesting because you don't see that as often. But I feel like her expression is kind of weird. I almost wanna see something reflected in the glasses that's like, offensive or shocking or disturbing to where maybe that would push this image in a completely different direction but she has this look of kind of disgust and you're almost wondering well what is she looking at what if she had a squiggly on her face with one half white and one half black this would definitely not be a two anymore maybe this would have like to be four a three. to five yeah, maybe all right next up let's see what the community says 2.6 so they, so liked, they this. liked it better than we did interesting all right, this is the winning image, and this is one that's pretty cool. So congrats to whoever shot this. We will reveal their name in just a second. Are you ready? Is it a composite? It's got to be. I mean, <laughs> getting that motion like that. With both people looking, I mean, you know how hard it is to shoot multiple people and get them perfect. I feel like the way you would do this is you'd shoot this as a composite. Yeah, you know, we don't have like ultra high res shots here, but as I look around, I'm like, if it's not a composite, how is it lit? But then I also look at the floor and I'm like, man, they did a really good job of blending in the floor with the floor in the background, you know? So I, I've... I don't know. I mean, it seems cross-lit. You have shadows coming in both directions, and she's got highlights, and they both have highlights. I in both know, directions. but the fact that like this this dude in the background, he's got the you know the lighting coming from the back, but then there's a window back there, so you go okay, and then the fact that there's mirrors in here, like maybe this is a dance studio. I have I to know. believe it's composited out, but three, two, one, three stars. Um, yeah, so yeah, I was I was in between a three and a four on this. I feel like maybe some post-processing is all that's needed to make this a four star. Something about like the, the tones on them and then the tones on the background make it feel like a composite to me. What do you feel about the difference in wardrobe? Like she's almost dressed like a ballerina and then he's dressed like hip hop. But then being in the same scene, I almost want to see either her in more urban clothing or him to be in more of a, a ballet type of outfit too to where it feels like this is like a performance where yeah. because it, it feels like a composite to me, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It feels like they too have a disconnect, which maybe yes. somebody likes. To me, I almost want them to be kind of more paired up. Well, the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, He's so far behind her. Well, you know what? Now, now I'm starting to really put this together. I mean, this this has to be a composite. Like, look at look at for instance the size of her head and arm, like down here, and then look at the size of her foot in the back. The size of her foot in the back is somewhat similar to the size of his feet. You, You're like, like in really investigating this. You're he, like, so it, what it looks like to me was she was shot with a much wider lens than he was shot with. And then the other thing that I was going to point out was the fact that he's kind of pointing towards her, but he's not pointing or looking at her at all. He's kind of looking 
nowhere, which makes me think this is a total composite. Like they weren't even doing this at the same time. Well, she's definitely lit, I think, with three lights, right? One from the right, one from the left, and then one from up above. I mean, you got a highlight on her entire leg that's coming from down, which yeah. emulates kind of the lighting that's in this scene. Yeah. Um, but then he also has kind of a highlight under his right arm jacket, which I don't know that the window would cause. Maybe mm. it could. I don't know. It, I don't know why it matters if it's composite or not. I wish this little blue over here. And the, on the right side. Yeah, just go ahead and get rid of that and make it pure white. And maybe like his reds are just a little too vibrant or something. It's like the scene has such a white look to it and then they have a little more color. I don't know, my biggest problem with this image, and it's not really a problem, I just feel like I would like them to both be dressed a little more similarly so that it felt like a cohesive image. I agree. But if you're a dance studio and you're trying to, maybe you even need a third or fourth person, but like if you're trying to represent that your dance studio has a little bit of everything for both male and female, for hip hop and ballet. I don't even know if this is ballet. Like I don't recall people on their hands in ballet, but whatever this type of dance is, it's, I mean, this is a cool image. I really dig it. The community rates it 3.72. And what do we give it? Three, three. each? Three, yeah. So they liked it more than us. It, it, to be honest, I was in between a three and a four on the shot. Whoa. <laughs> Sometimes you see these images and I like, I don't even understand how it's possible to do this. I don't have the knowledge of Photoshop to even recreate this. Like you don't know how to put the halo around her hand. Yeah, I don't know. And then know. like to selectively blur the trees in the background. <laughs> There's just so much going on with images like this. And when you really start looking into it, you're like, it's what like Pandora's is going box. on? It has yeah. more to offer than <laughs> right. more that you. Three, two, one, two. I would normally give this like a snapshot of one, but it's not a so snapshot. Much, so much retouching has been done. <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know what else there is to say about this. This has got some crazy stuff going on here. Let's see what the community rated it. 1.33. Next up. Hmm. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. I went four on this. I'm in between a three and a four, but I feel like this is... A very interesting composition. Yeah. And really interesting, again, like the dude on the desk. Looking away from the camera, you don't see that that often and done this well. And so I could see this on an album cover or, you know, album art. I could see this being within like an editorial piece about some artist or something that they're... Featuring. When I see this image, uh, you guys will have to look up his portfolio, but this looks a lot like the style that Michael Greco is kind of known for. He mm -hmm. has a lot of images that have this kind of feel. Um, just really well lit, shallowed up the field, you know, like, I don't know, like this reminds me of, you know, his environmental portraits that he does. Very cool. Um, I almost feel like maybe the, the left hand side is just a little too much dead space, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the community says. 2.5 stars. This is better than that. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can I can certainly understand why you would rate this a 3, but to rate it a 2, that's that's hard for me to... If the last image was a 2. This is in the same category. Exactly, exactly. So, for some reason, I thought she was at the beach, and then I looked and I'm like, oh, was that a city behind her? What did you think it was? Seashells? I, I don't know, like candles or something. I don't know what I thought. You live at the beach. I know. Three, two, one. So, I I lean towards a two on this, but it's an easy three with I think just a little bit more retouching on her. Really? I just don't like the concept. I feel like these little LEDs on a string, they look cheap. It's like the most easy, it's the simplest idea of like, let's go on Amazon, let's get some LEDs, let's wrap them around somebody. Like, if Von Wong did this, he would buy a thousand of them and make it into something like huge. <laughs> yeah. This just feels really cheap. I think there's a shoot-off video that F-Stoppers posted that has a bunch of photographers, and they have to shoot, you know, 
like I think Danny Diamond's in it, maybe even Joey L. I don't remember who all's in this specific video. But one of the shots they do is something like this where they have lights. And I feel like just to wrap them around your subject and use them as your key light and try to get something out of that, this just feels really cheap. Like, who would be doing this in real life? It's not artistic enough to make this a three for me. It feels like it's a photographer playing around with his girlfriend and trying to do something clever with lights. And at the end of the day, it just doesn't look that professional to me. All right, it's like a good test shoot. Now, the reason why I agree with everything you've said, but I feel like this location with the background, with the sky, like it's a, it's a solid exposure all the way through. And that's why I gave it the three. I, th I think it needs retouching really before I give it a three. But um, I don't know. It, it's, it's a little better than a two for me. Let's see what the community gives it. 2.29. So they agree with you on that one. Next up. What is going on on the right side of this? Is that just background? Okay, you ready? No. Three, two, one. So I, I was going to give this a three. I just feel like it's a little too over retouched with the sharpening over sharpened is maybe what I should say it looks like it has this crunchy high pass filter on it which this is a little bit too much but I love the expression and the lighting and the vibe of this photograph I just think it's over sharpened I can see that I mean especially if you just like layered the two and then selectively kind of maybe made the skin sharp but like Every strand of hair wasn't as, as sharp as it is. I hate that the bracelet's green. Like, why is that? Yeah, maybe that should be color. Uh, desaturated. I feel like the right side should really be blocked out and really black. Like, I think there's something going on there, but it just seems like a mistake. It almost feels like this should be a vertical image to begin with, maybe. Mm -hmm. I love the smoke. I feel like this image looks like a, a lot of really classic images from, like, the 90s. Um, it's like this style, shooting older people and getting the smoke. Like smoking in general is not as popular now. I just feel like this is a cool looking moody image. But. I agree. I agree. And the community, whoa, 3.5. Well, when it's that small, maybe you don't notice the sharpening as much as when it's blown up a little bit Maybe. Larger. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh with the sharpening. I just don't, you don't ever see high-end professional photographers sharpening images that much. There's a level at which it becomes like ridiculous and cartoony. But, but if it's on a billboard and it's two megapixels away. Next up. Hmm. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Two stars. I feel like this is leading towards a solid portrait. But just with this particular model and the fact that she isn't looking at the camera, you know, her eyes are closed, I feel like this is a shot that you would deliver to a client within a portrait session, but you wouldn't put it on your portfolio as the shot from the session. I am very cynical about brick walls and even super blurry backgrounds. like. It's a trick that you can do for senior portraits and portrait sessions because it kind of works and it makes people feel like, oh, it's so professional. But like, I am so tired of seeing images like this with the blurry bokeh background and then like the clean brick wall. It just screams to me that like, you didn't have any good ideas that day and you put her up against a brick wall. I don't- I'm I, looking at that before I'm even looking at the model and I'm just like, ah, oh, brick wall, I blurry background I don't know. I feel like this is one of Danny Diamond's models and it's retouched and it's got that look to it and you give it a four or five star and it's taken in the exact same location. Well, there's a lot to be said, one, about the model choice, two, about Danny Diamond's process, but I would probably give Danny a little shit too if there was a <laughs> brick wall in the background. It just screams like senior portrait. I'm, I don't know. Well, the senior portraits can be a needs big, to be upped. It needs to be upped. Maybe. All right. Community gives it two point two stars. So, uh, what did we give it? Two each, right? I gave it a two. You gave it a three. No, I gave this a. You two. You gave this a two. Okay. interesting ready yep. three two one 
That was in between a three and a four. You I gave it a four. I, I gave it a three. It. I think this is so cool. Like I love the wardrobe, like the turtleneck. You don't see a lot of that. His expression and like he just he's a character and the way he's lit looks cool yeah the only little thing like this little patch of hair kind of throws me off and i don't know if you could fill it in or you could pull it down a little bit it's supposed to look messy but my hair my my eye goes to that little bit of hair yeah but like everything else about this i really really dig so like i said with the very first image which was the, the highest rated yeah. image it's done so well but at a certain point it's so simple that it's hard for me to give it five stars yeah but that being said three four like i'm fine with either one i feel like this is a really cool image let's see what the community says what 2.5 A's. what is wrong <laughs> i would love to hear people's comments in this video about why this image is a two if you gave it a two yeah all right next up this is very julia guzman co mm. mckim is that the new last name This one's tough for me, man. Three, two, one. I gave it four. I was in between a three and a four. And I feel like the lighting is incredible. I like the concept. Snake's cool. The snake's expression. Yeah, the snake, he's out to lunch. No, I feel like the model's expression is a little strange to me. And maybe it's her facial features with the hair or something. Something about this. It almost looks like she has a wig on. I'm sure she has a wig on. But... It's just not quite as cool as I could imagine it. You know, if it was Tyra Banks and she was giving you that power stare, you know, it'd be five stars, no doubt. But as it stands right now, three to four stars for sure. I gave it four, so. Yeah, I don't know what I would do to make this better. Like, I definitely think like the, ex I don't mind the expression. I kind of wish she was looking at the camera, maybe. Something about the wardrobe. I just feel like the little bra thing is like a little weak. Like I almost want to see her in something more fashionable. Hmm. Something that like, because this seems like a fashion image with the snake wrapped around you with the fashion lighting. And then it's just kind of like a very simple, it's almost like something you'd wear for a beauty shot that you're going to crop above. If she was in something that really was more fashion forward, I feel like this could be... I mean, if she was like in a snakeskin top that matched the snake or something, I feel like it would kind of pull it together more. I lose interest on the bottom part of the image. Normally, I wouldn't lose interest on the bottom part of an image like this, but that was a boob joke. Yeah, I get it. Um, but I don't know. I, I still think it's a solid four. Like, I, I really like this image. Whoever took this, let us know in the comments how you actually got this look to the skin. Um, did you actually light it with blue light? And then how did you get this metallic look? Was there something sprayed on her skin or did you do something in Photoshop to have this shiny metallic look? Because I really like it. I think um, yeah, it looks it's really cool. cool and I can't figure out how it was done. The community gave it 3.86 stars. So rated it right around what we did at four stars. Well, that's it guys. That wraps up this critique. If you'd like to be a part of the next critique, upload your iPhone or your smartphone pictures to the link in the YouTube video. And, um, we're gonna do this all over again. And keep in mind that the highest rated image will get a tutorial and one random submission as well. Now with the iPhone pictures or cell phone pictures, they just need to be taken on the cell phone. Yeah. But they could be edited and, and produced Go as- Go crazy, go crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how good we can get with the iPhone. I mean, we've, we've tried it a few times. We've gotten some pretty good pictures ourselves. But. Yeah, it is possible to get really good looking shots. So I'm excited to see what the highest rated images are because they may not be distinguishable from high res images, yeah. cameras and DSLRs. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you then.